even all the reviews I read on this on the lineage from the uh, <clears throat> on all the um, dispensaries gave it a pretty good review. I'm not gonna say it's bad because it's some pretty good tree, the Georgia pie. It's not as good as the stuff I was tasting on the street, but of course there's always that difference between the dispensary and the stuff you get on the street, black market or wherever it may be, wherever the grow is from. But that Georgia pie I had was definitely official. This is official. I mean, it definitely hits all the tones. Um, just maybe not as danky as the stuff I had tried prior. Mm -hmm. From what I would say. But it's a good strain. I get it. I mean, shoot. It was, uh, the eighth was $20. And I got two for one on Wednesdays at uh, Ponderosa Dispensary. Um, brown bag is the company. These brown bags. They got some pretty good tree. Um, I got a couple eighths of this uh, Georgia pie. And we're going to try out this other strain, another exotic, this wedding cake. We're going to try this out. Also a brown bag, also from Ponderosa. We're going to try that out. We're going to try out um, this, Vice City, right? this Vice City right here, which I'm curious because, once again, it's 50-50 Sativa Indica. I usually don't like those, but this is Runtz. Uh, one of the parents is Runtz, so sometimes the names do get me. I do like the names, anything that comes from the Cookie Fam, anything that comes from any of those exotic uh, brands, because they're known for that. I mean, they, they come with enormous flavors, they do. Yes, but indeed. if you've also bought any of these flavors, you also know that the, the quality is different depending on what dispensary you go to, depending on what brand you go to. Um, I've purchased Cookies products quite a bit. I've only got a couple strains that I actually thought were worth the $60 eighth. I've gotten competitive $20 eighths, so I'm looking for the competition. We know what, you know, we know what uh, what you're spending, you know, you're trying to get the best of what you're spending. Who wants to spend $60 on an eighth every time when you damn near can get an ounce for 75 these days? You know, part. so nobody's been Yes, obviously on but you know, sometimes we try to smoke quantity and quality. You know, and sometimes 2024 just because you're spending more money, it doesn't always mean that you're getting the better quality. Because once again, I have spent the, I have bought these sixty-five dollar Ace before, and yes, I've definitely seen the difference of the stickiness, uh, the quality of the freshness compared to some of the other ones, and it's been this good, one, but not always top tier, you know. So if you can find a bargain, top tier right there, bro. What is this one, Vice City? Yeah, that's not super top tier. What'd you say? It's not super top tier. I don't know, like you said, I'm a hybrid. I ain't really a hybrid dude either. It's all right. It's blowing, though. Again, that's not bad. Vice City. It's not, not that bad. bad. You know what I mean? Me being an Indica guy, I don't like sativas. I was expecting to be a little bit more disappointed. It's actually not as bad as I was thinking. Yeah. But I was expecting it to be good because it does have, you know, a good lineage in there of runts. And then the cookie fam somewhere. But it's, once again, that name sells. Yeah. You know, I've tasted I've tasted so many fraud cookies, so many fraud runts. You can taste the cookies though, right? You know, you can taste the cookies a little bit, it's a little bit poquito. The way Everybody like comes that. a different grow. I mean, you could get some. You can get the same exact brand. I hate it like that. I got <clears throat> You really taste it more. Yeah. Like a, straight to the lung. You can get the same, you can go to the same exact dispensary, get the same exact brand, get the same exact strain, and it could still be a completely different batch. It could be a whole different yield. That It could come out, come out not cured well, not cut well, trimmed well, whatever. <clears throat> Maybe not to its full potential. <clears throat> you know, I like to cure my weed when I get it. I'll sit it and keep it in jars, keep it in tight. And you burp it, give it some air. It's gonna be a different weed. Weed changes. You know, you gotta take care of your weed. You know, that's yeah. another thing about <clears throat> coming out here is you could have you could have some some weed, but if you don't take care of the weed, depending on the quality, you already got it. If you you know you're keeping it, a lot of people like to keep their stuff just sitting out. That's gonna dry your weed up. You know, you want to keep that quality as good as it is, and that's why I keep it in a tight container, tight jar, out here in Arizona. Yeah, nice jar for sure. That shit gonna dry out. Fast out here in Arizona. Yeah, see, it ain't no joke. Arizona for sure. So yeah, this Vice City is cool. This shit blowing. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna count them out. I like the hybrid. And this was what? Uh, mint dispensary. Mint dispensary. Mint, by the way, mint. Holler shout at out to mint. mint though. Uh, Holler at us, mint. We I got these right here oh, for eight dollars an eighth. Eight dollars an eighth. 
Fuck. Wednesdays, right? Today, Wednesday? I guess eighth Wednesday. Let me see what so. you got. You got uh, it was lovely. I don't even lie. It, 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 it smoked real good for the eight dollars, nigga. Girl Scout cookie On snacks. Bloods and crisps. GSC snacks. <laughs> or GSC real snacks. Well, one of these motherfuckers. Uh, what's this one? I could, I could taste. I could definitely uh, smell that cookie in there. I could smell that cookie. You could really see that shit. Damn, that thin mix smell. Yeah. Yeah, that was that one right here. This is the one I was gonna roll up right here. What is this one? Grape protrusion. So boy, with a little strip of it. Grape illusion, too, right? Grape illusion. It's almost okay. like you're blowing a blunt with it, you know, Zag with the little mm. strip up in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's how I fucks with it. She blow too. Go slow too. And then I think you got some, uh, I think I saw this name before, Grease Monkey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most definitely. Oh, uh, $8 eight, man. Okay. These are the $8 eights at the Mint. Yeah. The Mint doing their thing. Go over there, you might as well. You could try a couple. What's what's $8? Yeah. You could try a couple. That's the why only I'm, shout out Bubba when they grab the whole zip. All he different shot kinds. Kid. Yep, I did. That's what I did. I fucked around and grabbed the, uh, I went to uh, Ponderosa and snatched uh all different types of, of days, but I got, but I got, but I pretty much knew what I wanted. I got, I got all wedding cakes, got all wedding cakes because that yeah, was like I their like best, their best indica, uh, all wedding cakes, and a couple of these uh, Georgia pies that we fucking with. Yeah, I like Georgia pies. Too. <clears throat> yeah, I just got some stuff that I knew. They had a couple other ones, but I wasn't <clears throat> too thrilled. Mm -hmm. Like you got the high power. Yeah. So yeah, that's just the that's just the that's just the part of it. But really, to get down to it, you know, we're doing this at the same time. But uh, <clears throat> we also fucking with it, man. You know, this, this is episode one. One freestyle, <clears throat> man, off the head. You we freestyling. We even got shit wrote down. We even got none of that shit planned. We just fucking with it. We just fucking with it. We slide oh, with but it. But hopefully, y'all tap in and shit. Tap in. Give us a name. Fuck it. Shit, you we know gonna, what I mean? We gonna come up with that right now. We're just growing. Yep. She <clears throat> help us with a name. Shit, we freestyling off the head. You know what I'm saying? As of we right now, we talk about all types of shit, not just weed. You feel me? We calling it open mic as of right now. Yeah, open mic. Yeah, <clears throat> and that's just cause it just makes sense because that's what we doing. Mm-hmm. And uh, my compadre here, multi talented <laughs> individual, definitely need to fuck with him because uh, so much game gonna be get given across the board right now, and. Um, we got this idea once again from all the creative shit that we do already. Um, tap in with the Brody. He already got beats for you if you're trying to buy a beat. He does the mixing, the mastering, all that good stuff. And my boy's the artist. It's Eye on the Don. Pull, yeah, pull it up. So you know. Some of that Bay Area, West Coast, underground shit. Mm -hmm. Classics. Your boy in there on a couple of them. But uh, yeah, we, we getting it in, man. We doing the videos, doing documentaries. Obviously doing the strain reviews, trying to get this podcast rolling, and you're just trying to see where it go, you know, and tap in, and we're gonna make it happen. And, All uh, venues, you know, man. we're gonna have we're gonna have interviews, we're gonna have exclusives, we're gonna pretty much do everything. But we episode one, this is just the introduction, which brings me to my next point, because my introduction to this, <clears throat> my compadre, like I said, he so, uh, <clears throat> it's eye on the don. You feel me? Freestyle Beats Entertainment. Yes, sir. And shit, we can bring it all. We, you know, we got the, we at the studio right now. In the podcast you know, room. Um, podcast slash podcast room. And, uh, you know, this is where all the magic happened. About you to know. get back on our skits, too. Yeah, about you to feel get me? back on these skits. You probably followed, maybe probably followed <laughs> the fingers ready? on the skits. <laughs> <clears throat> we in a couple, uh, you know, videos with the same characters. But pull up Eye on the Don. And you're going to see all kinds of videos. He got exclusive with Mr. Uh, Mr. Fab. Yeah, he got sure. songs with Jay Diggs. Yeah, sure. Got songs with the local the local AZ legend, Buki. You know, your boy on a song. Shout out, Book. Got yes, songs with that. the fam. All Mother his solo shit. Too. All his solo shit going. He got classic original beats on there. And man, fuck with him, man. Underground music, West Coast. You know, we repping, man. Repping heavy. <clears throat> you know, we them, we them 80s babies. Yes, Still sir. keeping it alive, and the knowledge is so outstanding. 
Knowledge is power, man. You say by the knowledge you possess, man. And right on, bro. You already know. Yeah, we just, like you said, shooting off the head, man. We just putting our talent together, being creative, you know what I'm saying? Trying to stay productive, man. Putting our heads together, man. Just trying to make something of it, you know? Create something, you know? We're here to create, man. So let's, let's uh, create, you know, and make memories and history, shit. All that, you feel me? So while we're on that, too, shit, creative podcast. Tell me, well, I know, you oh, know, man. I know, but this is for the people. Tell me, I know, you just dropped a, uh, you just dropped the album, you just dropped the album last year. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hands on everything. Hands on everything. On Apple Music, shit, Spotify, shit, and ex- all that. Explain to me, and explain to the people what's hands on everything. What does that represent? That's the name of the album. Eye on the Don, hands on everything. Yeah. Pull it up on all the platforms. Um, explain to me, the people. What's hands on everything? What's that? Uh, sure, man. I mean, you know, it's like it's more, mostly a title for entre- entrepreneurship. You know what I mean? Shit, I got my hands on everything. You know, trying to make 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 it do what it do. You know what I'm saying? So like, you know, hustle more than uh, many ways. You feel me? I'm trying to make a dollar out of fifteen. Hit at every angle. You know what I'm saying? It just it don't stop. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta have more avenues. You know what I'm saying? More than one, you know what I mean. Have, have, cause one, one, one not, one might not, you know what I mean. Shit, get uh, produced for you at that time. So, shit, why not, you know, be creative in something else, you know. Expand your shit, shit, your wings, you know what I mean. But yeah, that's that's in the in in the way. That's what it means. That's you know? the story. And everything, man. So that's definitely the story. And he so. telling that story. You listen to the album. That's that's a quotable right there. Step on a dollar, step on a bill. If one hustle yeah. don't work, then the next, next one will. will. And that's your boy right there. That's yeah, the song. That, that, Pull that up. Well, YouTube. Check that out too. YouTube. YouTube. You know? Eye on the Don. Step on a dollar. Right Slapper. There. Man, there's so many. There's so many. That whole playlist. I man, I wake up to that one. Yeah, man. I wake up to all them shits on a daily. Yes, sir, man. So you yeah. got it. We just, you know, being creative, and you know, and don't get me mind, you know, we do what it do. But Brody got bars too, man. And shit, he soon he'll do some solo shit. You know, he getting. Get his feet wet, just fucking with it. He is an artist too, and he, you know what I mean. He most high talented too. So you know what I mean. We both, you know, put our minds together on shit, and we just, you know what I mean. We create, man. So you know, you know, fuck with us, rock with us, though. You know what I mean. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Yeah, I fuck with it, man. I fuck with it, but I'm, I'm here for moral support more than anything, and we creating. Uh, Yeah, most definitely. My. Brody's been doing this shit so long, sacrificing so long, and I done watched him grow. Just, just the, if you listen to the album, if you listen to the album, you'll hear a variety of different stuff. The messages are all authentic, but Brody's already on a whole nother wave already right now. So when the new next album come out, which might be at the end of the year or next year probably, I'm, I can't even speak for him. Singles, I can't, but he yeah. got a lot of singles. But it's already a different vape. My, my boy's evolving on a daily. My boy's evolving on a daily. So it's just so much to offer. And he match. He he's sma- he snapping on them beats, y'all. I, I don't even understand why why he ain't why he ain't a millionaire yet. But it, it, but shit happens. Good time, good shit happens time, in time. Man. Shit happens in time. Just keep supporting, and we're gonna keep rocking. Yeah. We definitely gonna keep rocking. We're gonna do this with the strain review shit. You know what I mean? We could do it all. Shit, I, we could do. Uh, we can get up here and do the news and do the sports. You know, Good I'm news, definitely all shit coming, extensive man. on all that knowledge. I'm all following all that shit. All different types of shit coming. There ain't going to limit to what we come with, man, on this channel. So y'all stay tuned the fuck in and we appreciate it. So, but yeah. And shout out to Babby Music, man. Uh, we've got a video shout out uh, shoot this Saturday coming. Shout out to Ishmael, you know what I'm saying? Kelly Nephew. Kid. Nephew. Nephew, you feel me? He got a bunch of shit coming. You know, singles, shit, movies, all types of shit, man. So... You know, we uh, networking. You feel me? Speaking and of nephew. Shout out to Veen, too. Shit, I see you on the shoot, too, man. Uh-huh. That's a bookie lover's little sister, man. She doing big shit out here, too, man. All oh, of, yeah, you know? yeah. So GM me. You know what I mean? Shout out, for sure. Yeah, you know, man. Speaking of nephew, Cali Kid, Ishmael. Speaking of nephew, um, mm. nephew was on a... I, saw, I, watched, I ended up watching the whole video to Pop the Balloon. Oh, the whole yeah, shit. yeah, Some yeah. shit is interesting. <laughs> it's a new little dating show oh, yeah, where yeah. they're coming out Pop here and they, balloon, they popping the balloons with eliminating too. nephews on there. But it's a cool little dating show. It's out here based in Scottsdale, Arizona. That one, that one was really going in. But, you know, we have, man, we, man, we, 
promoting right now. It seemed like we don't yeah, dropping yeah, names on everybody. We promoting. Hey, we Why not drop that. something? We promoting. Why not, bro? You know, Shit. we, we doing do that, all, we doing all that. Not just ourselves, because you know it's like local small businesses, black owned businesses, all that kind of stuff. All that means something, and that we are here to promote. You know, I don't. Yeah, know. Yeah. Arizona's never really had that much of an identity. You know, we we we're not. Shout uh, out to the good brothers, good plumbers. You know, we're not all exactly locals, Already. but I've been out here for a minute. You know, we'd have been out here for a minute. I've been wow, out here for wow. almost twenty years. Shit tastes good, right? Been out here for a minute. But uh, um, yeah, not exactly locals, but shit, we we bring, definitely bringing the heat. Shit, Brody been trying to bring it together for a minute. Brody done drop compilations, albums with Arizona yeah, man, artists. A lot of artists, and, you know. Here, the man. brand is Bayzona. If it's Bayzona, then what? That's not just keeping it because it's Cali motherfuckers. But we combining, bringing the Arizona together. We're not just keeping it. You know, that's the whole thing about this game is everybody's selfish. Everybody's in competition. Nobody supports each other, right? That part. So that's the whole thing. Me and uh, me and other cuzzo in Cali, uh, Raphael. Shout out, um, Brody. He go by uh, Pablo. He got albums and all that shit. He owned a business, Two Seconds Ahead Entertainment. I'm fucking with. Oh, and Brody did, a, Brody did a compilation years ago called Kaz, uh, California, Arizona. Once again, trying to bring it all together, you know? And just, I, I mean, that's the whole thing. Arizona's never really had an identity. You know, yeah. even California, there's a lot of mainstream. But the, the, the artist you fucking with is going to be underground. Yeah. Underground artist. I don't have yeah. to name them all, but... F- Filthy Rich, Mozzie just signed a major label. He's a major label now, but you know, you know who the underground <coughs> goats is, especially the youngsters that coming up. Um, yeah. I can name them all. We can go over that. We could do reviews of all that. Yeah, I'm, we'll I'm all on that, the old man. shit. Yeah. I'm an eighty. I'm an eighties baby, so I know all the legends. But yeah. I know what I know what's going on today too. You know, yes, the EBK boys out there. Them yes, boys. Sir. Actually, I ain't gonna lie. Well, There's actually too, man. You know, no, I was never really in the gang politics. Shit, so, yeah. You know how the, the 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 Northern Cali politics is different than the LA politics, but uh, mm. them nor- Northerners, the Northerners, man, gassing. And I'm not talking about no normal shit. There's some, yeah, they're they're turfing it, man. Man, them motherfuckers yeah. is getting it. Them motherfuckers. I just is don't like it. the beef and shit that's going on. And yeah, we don't fuck with that. that shit, man. Try to stay out the you politics. I mean? Yeah, I ain't even with that politics shit, but you know, I hope niggas change on that level. And, you know what I mean? So. You know, find a better way, man, so niggas can really enjoy it. You know, make some music and get the joy, you know what I'm saying, proceeds and shit, you know. Niggas doing all that shit and can't, you know what I mean, enjoy their music and shit, man. So, like I said, rest in peace, man. You know, EBK, you know what I mean, they, little people, they just lost and all that, you know what I mean. And my, you know, that's one of my nephews in there, <clears throat> Mad Max, he locked up, shout out, you know what I mean, shout out to you. You know what I mean, Mad Max. <clears throat> oh, y'all, you know, just keep grinding, man, you know what I mean, let's... Live another day and just make, you know what I'm saying, make do what it do, bro. You know what I mean? I ain't here to preach or nothing like that, but, you know, at the end of the day, man, let's this, this, this make shit happen, man. It's enough, you know, to go around money and, and it's enough history motherfuckers can make shit. We live in a time right now where it's, a, it's amazing, like, you know what I'm saying, that life, Captain Mac, you know what I mean, shout out, you feel me? It, the, mo- the best time right now, you feel me? Like, man, niggas is, you know, speaking their mind, keeping it real, but, you know, most of all, what they're trying to do, separate us. And that's what, you know what I'm saying? We can't let them do. You know what I mean? We we all one in this motherfucker, man. And, uh, we, 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 we coexisting, nigga. And we, 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 we all creating. You feel me? So let's, let's keep, stay on that vibe, man. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. That wedding man, cake. Let's switch. Wedding cake. That's that, uh, what was that? That, uh, that one we were talking about again. Not that vice one of them, okay. this one, I think. Please tell me it's the grease monkey. Yeah. No one. Oh, shit, that shit came. Yeah, I wanted to taste that grease monkey. I think that's the grease. But man, I got so many topics that we could touch on. I love sports. I could talk sports all day, but that shit can get kinda old, but you know, motherfuckers got different opinions. We could get on that kind of shit. Politics, I don't really fuck with the politics. That shit crazy because it's, yeah, you know, and, and, and Brody, Brody could get deep on all that extra shit. Yeah, um, so. so, man, there's so many different shit. Motherfuckers don't want to get controversial. I ain't talking about no shit like religion, no shit like that. But uh, but we all over the place. We could definitely fuck with it. You know, I'm all, we can go from, we can go from, you know, fucking the homelessness to online dating. Cover <laughs> all that shit because it, it all varies and, man. All that shit's an experience, and I see it on a daily. <laughs> oh, shit. We well, cover a lot of shit, though, man. So. You know? Yeah, that's what it is. Shit, shit. Motherfuckers mixing the social media with all that shit, and... Well, that's one thing. Social media, man. You know, hey. It is what it is, man. 
you ain't, you're not even valid these days unless you were uh, got fo a following, you know. Which which brings me to another interest is this whole TikTok shit. What do you think is about to happen with TikTok? I, I know TikTok. I know they those all the stories about they about to get banned. Might be another opportunity, a good opportunity for an American company. That's a good idea. American company to roll in and take that spot. That's a whole China thing. China, China owns TikTok. And they're going through some whole shit where they about to ban it. They have to pass some kind of stuff. I don't know. That's going to kill a lot of careers. Yeah, a lot of that It looks like. I don't think they'll They might be able to salvage it, but I don't know how close. for a while, bro. I don't know how close, but that's the last shit that I saw. You know. OJ Simpson, rest in peace. Rest in peace for sure. I don't give a fuck if he did it or get it did it or not. He got away with it, right? That's the sad. evidence wasn't strong, and you know later he got that he got that civil he got that civil case later. So it wasn't like he Thanks got away with that bro, shit. Bro, bro. He got away with that shit. But Brody did his thing, you know. I mean, shit. Shout did out to Pete Diddy too, man. You know what I mean? I hate to see another brother fall. You know, I don't care what they say, whatever, and all that. Personal, it is what it is. Y'all business. I don't. Me personally, I don't give a fuck about none of that. I just like to see motherfuckers get it and uh, create, man. And, uh, you know, I don't know that man like that, so I can't judge him. So, at the end of the day, you know, hey, I hope you get about that shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, that shit's crazy how that shit get out. Right. All that shit is speculation, but, man, the, the, the evidence is strong. Yeah, so the evidence is strong. Hey, hey, prove it and either way, guilty, right? either fucking way, either <laughs> way, even if even if there is some capping going on, Brody's a weirdo. Yeah, Brody's a I, I certified don't weirdo. Like that, bro. I don't listen to his music and nothing like that. I'm just speaking on behalf, you know, as a as a, I don't know, bro. So, you know, yeah, from what they say and what they paint, yeah. Shout yeah, out to you know, Swamp like, Stories. You know I mean? Shout out to Swamp Stories. I fucked with I fucked with Swamp <laughs> Stories. I, I I like all his content because he go he goes to the trenches and gets the history in yeah, okay, tre in the yeah. trenches and he gets <laughs> a lot of valid information. Yeah. Um, but shout out to Swamp Stories. He put out a real good, uh, maybe a, almost an hour long documentary on him on uh, on Puffy before all yeah, the I shit even watch, got real I big. Even watch it, get into yeah. that. That's he actually he really actually put that shit out. He actually you know put I mean? that shit out um, right after Cassie got her bread. Before all the other allegations came out with the producer and all and all yeah. the other shit. Um, before all that meat and all that shit. shit, man. It is uh -huh. what it is. But you know, hey, if he. Did it? I mean, it is what it is. But in that know? documentary, they connected. We always question it. We always question it. But not only did they con he connected for me the dots with, obviously the Tupac part was always a speculation. Yeah. But he connected the Biggie murder as well for me. See, I ain't even watch it. You got to send me that link so I Man. can peep it. I'll peep it, you know. But at the end of the day, like I said, because he said that he, Biggie was supposed <laughs> to Biggie was supposed to perform in. Fuck, I don't want to be wrong. Biggie had in London, I think. If I remember correctly, Biggie, either way, it was out of the country. Biggie had a show booked in London. Thousands of people, I'm sure. Big show. Puffy can called him to cancel the show and said, I need you to be here in L.A. I need you for this, for this party or whatever. Yeah. Biggie died at that party. He got shot at that party. Yeah, but I don't know. That's so. just me. But that shit put me... 20 years later, that was new information for me. <coughs> And then so we heard about Keefy D. Keefy D just got arrested recently, you know, uh, for the alleged murder of Tupac. Um, because, but he has he has interviews way before that saying that he was um, ordered to, well, hired a million dollars um, to kill Pac. The only reason I why. Know, that shit is just weird to me. That whole yeah. shit, I don't know. So. The only reason why Puff <laughs> never got arrested in connection to that, supposedly, allegedly, the only reason why Puff never got arrested for that one was because the wired money never hit his account. That's what I'm saying. Niggas just speak, wait years to speak. I don't know. Like yeah. I said, I don't but keep your D's in jail. Politics and shit and all that shit. And I don't know about all that shit, man. Like I said, so. In the interviews, yeah. he never. Uh, in the interviews, he never admitted to killing Pac. To actually, me. to me, all that shit is like you know what I mean. Shit to throw niggas off, man. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. But of course, distraction. It's been, you feel me? But why did it take twenty years to get this exactly, information? Why part. did it take twenty why years to now? get this information? Yeah, I'm not saying I believe. I'm not on. saying I believe it. I'm just saying I'm connecting it, and yeah. it's pretty. It's pretty. It's pretty funny. I mean, a lot of it I do believe. The puff. The puffy parts I for sure believe now. 
I'm like, damn, it made sense. It made sense. It was a boss move. It was a leverage move. It was a leverage move. And and it kind of even out. I mean, we all knew that. We all knew at that time. Nobody wished Biggity died, but we all knew that was the only way it would have evened it out. But guess who evened it out? It was the same exact playing field. He he evened it all out. That's some fucking mob shit for real. That's sick, man. But exactly. he did that. That's what I said. All he that, that shit, shit is mob ties. He That's what that shit. You know what I mean? Puffy at the end of the day was a bigger gangster than Suge anyway. At the end of the day, he just was on behind the behind the scenes with it. I don't know. Suge was From more. What they said. Suge was more upfront. But I man. wasn't there, so I don't know. Yeah. All them niggas could be on that shit. Yeah, we all know, allegedly. Bro, so. All allegedly. So I don't know, man. But for me, like, yeah. You know, you know, like I said, politics and shit and gimmicks and, you know, throw motherfuckers off with all types of shit, but whatever. Teachers on, there's something to talk about. You know what I mean? Yeah. Why not? So, you know. But yeah, y'all, y'all fuck with us, though, man. Like I said, we're going to be talking about all types of shit. We just freelancing and freestyling right now, man, so. You know what I mean? We're going to chop this shit up. Maybe chop it up a couple of episodes or something. Shoot it out there. See what we get. You feel me? Y'all fuck with us. Leave a comment. You know, follow the channel. Y'all see all my other content because I'm going to post it on my channel. You know, it's Ion TV. You know what I'm saying? Ion the Don TV. So, we're going to post it. You know what I mean? Y'all tune in, comment, post shorts, all that. Fuck with us. Yeah, that's cool for the first level, you know what I mean? Well, peace out. Throw the peace, peace. I hate that.